What is up, YouTube tool tubers of the world? My name is Brad. Welcome to the workbench, and today we're looking at the February monthly list of Inside Track Club coupons. Well, not coupons, discounts. I keep calling them coupons. They're no longer coupons. These are automatically applied at checkout. And we're going to go through these coupons pretty quick, so feel free to pause the video if you want to look at a coupon a little bit longer. I'm going to tell you which ones I think are good deals, bad deals, and also don't forget to scan the comments because other people within this community will warn you of tools that I may not have experience with. I do like the deal on the 10 pack of cutoff wheels here for $5. I've never not once had one explode on me like everybody says a cheap cutoff wheel automatically does as soon as you put it into an angle grinder. $99 is about as good of a coupon as you're going to get for the Bauer bandsaw there. Sometimes during the holidays it'll go down to $89, but that's not anywhere close. So if you're looking at that bandsaw, now is not a bad time to pick it up. Coming up is $60 off the Diamondback Tile Saw. Now that's around 20%, and that is an excluded item from the 20% off coupon. So if you're in the tile game, you might want to look at it. I haven't laid tiles probably in 15 years, but if you got experience with it, leave a comment down below and let people know how it worked out for you. And we got another $60 off another excluded item, the Bauer SDS drill right there. That's going to give you 30% off a normally excluded item. So if you drill concrete more than a few times a year, you might want to consider it. The 10 gauge extension core for 25 bucks is an amazing deal. You're not going to find that cheaper anywhere else. I do actually have the safe over to the left for 23 bucks. That is an excluded item, so you might want to take advantage of it if you're thinking of it. I've enjoyed having mine. You know, I don't think it would be hard to break into if somebody robbed you or something like that. But for keeping certain items away from kids, it's been great. Nice little deal on the transmission jack over there, saving you 24%, or as they say, $80. And I do got to give the little warning I like to tell everybody that stops by my channel, just in case it's your first time. These little red stars on the Inside Track Club coupons are now fairly accurate for the most part. Don't count on that with their normal coupons. Because what Harbor Freight likes to do is show you a percentage of savings compared to whatever item they deemed to be their competitor <laughs> so it's a it's a nice way to play with the numbers i'd love to hear if anybody has experience with these uh doyle electrician suppliers i have a pair from milwaukee that i would love great for stripping romex great for residential work so if you have experience with those if you've been using them for a while leave a comment down below and that goes for anybody if you have an experience with a tool that you just think is stellar or you think is terrible leave a comment because there's no way I can know about all of these tools. I just try to give you the insight of the tools I've used, like these little Centec fish sticks. Now I've used these. They are not the best at all. You know, I've used the Klein glow in the dark ones that are a lot stiffer, a lot thicker. Oh God, God, y'all are going to tear me up in the comments for that one. But <laughs> those Centec fish sticks, I like them because they are thin. They're flexible. They will break easier. So they shouldn't be your only set or the set you're solely depending on. But they're so cheap, you might as well pick them up because they can get into some spots that the, the bigger, thicker, stiffer ones can't, okay? Moving on, I don't think I could ever recommend buying a new electric motor. Electric motors are on damn near everything in the world. You can sometimes buy a tool, take the motor off of it, cheaper than you can buy a brand new electric motor. So I'm not saying that's going to work in every situation, but consider it before you go out and spend $150 plus on something like that. Coming up, we'll have the Quinn... Dykes diagonal cutters I'm sorry the Quinn Dykes and I can tell you right now I bought these when they first came out just because I was curious about them and I do actually still have them they live in my truck toolbox and I think that's the perfect place for them they're not the best Dykes or diagonal cutters in the world but especially for like a spare pair or a pair you don't mind losing or trashing or keeping in a vehicle they're perfect for that and guys, just real quick, I want to take a moment because I don't do this in very many videos, but I do want to thank all the Patreons that I do have. It's not a ton, but it's a group of guys that truly support me. They get early access to this channel and also my second channel, Brad's Wood Turning. So if you're interested in woodworking, wood turning, stuff like that, you can find the link down in the description along with the link to Patreon if you just want to kind of see what some of the member benefits are. I try to take care of my dudes over there. And I just got to tell them one more time. Thank you. Your support really means the world to me. It goes way beyond the financial aspect of it. In fact, I have yet to even draw any money out of Patreon. I'm letting that sit there and stack, and it's it's got a bigger long-term goal towards it. 
That's all I'm gonna say. Let's get back to some tools. You got the air hose reel over there for 30 bucks. I wouldn't rush out for that. It's not an excluded item. It's only saving you 21% with that discount. And honestly, guys, this is one of those times that I would have to tell you to wait and save your money till you can afford the one that at least has the auto retract. Harbor Freight even has one, and um, I promise you, you'll thank me later. I don't really recommend any of the screwdriver sets Harbor Freight sells, although I haven't tried the Doyle ones. I do, however, recommend a lot of their swivel casters locking casters their casters period i haven't been able to find them anywhere cheaper the quinn ratchet and sockets over there to the left for 30 bucks seems like a pretty good deal might be a great set to keep in a vehicle but it only saves you 14 percent. so if you're only buying that item you're gonna have to tell them you would rather use a 20 percent off coupon to save the most money again i'm gonna ask for comments from you guys has anybody used this merlin high flow blowgun is it worth the $15. I was going to buy the cheaper telescoping one that just had a coupon earlier, actually. But last month, somebody told me that it was a piece of crap. So I didn't even want to bother wasting my time with it. And also, I've been wanting to ask you guys how you guys feel about the Inside Track Club and a lot of the other changes Harbor Freight has made. Do you feel like the Inside Track Club is worth the money to you? I'm, I'm going to hold my opinion for now. I have always planned on doing a video about it to kind of explain how I feel about it. But I want to hear it from your perspective and how often you're going there to shop and what kind of stuff you're shopping for. You know, just kind of like mechanical, woodworking, metalworking, you know, are you a professional, DIYer? You don't have to give me great details. Just give me an idea of what you're using these tools on and how often you're using them. Because I am planning on doing a video of who is the perfect Inside Track Club member because I think a lot of people buy the membership with false expectations or unrealistic expectations. And I just don't want to see people waste their money, to be honest with you. Coming up, we got the US General One Drawer service cart for $89. Now keep in mind, you still have the Yukon bulk storage cart. There might be a few left. They're on clearance right now for $87. Now that has the lid that comes down more like the five drawer cart and it locks. So just kind of keep in mind which one might be better for you. A lot of people say the US General stuff is way better than the Yukon. I don't know. I haven't ever owned any Yukon boxes. So if you have, leave a comment down below, especially if you've owned both brands. You got the Made in USA USA flag, which I am glad they ended up getting one of those in there. And believe it or not, Harbor Freight does have a few Made in USA items. Uh, the magnetic square right there for $350. I used to buy those every time they went on sale. I have enough now. I don't need any more. But the, the only thing I don't like is they don't have the on and off switch. So it can kind of be a pain in the butt to blow off some of the shavings or slag after a while. I've never bought the trash bags. Can't say if that's a good deal or not. I have bought this little polishing kit though. Comes with a red rouge and the gray one. I've never used those, but I have used the white diamond and the drill buffing wheels for uh, some resin turning I've done. One up is their cheaper creeper. <laughs> yes, I knew I was gonna say that. <laughs> Oh, it kind of cracks me up. I've always heard the uh, one piece plastic one is a little bit better, but if you just need a cheaper creeper and you're only going to use one every now and then, then yeah, 20 bucks ain't bad. I have not used any of the Vulcan welding gloves and they also have a buffer coming up. Excluded item, because remember central machinery is an excluded item now, and I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of their buffers get replaced with that Hercules or Bauer version and the price goes up as well. So if you're thinking about getting a buffer, I would look sooner rather than later. I've had a few people comment that the little sandblasting gun isn't that bad, and I'm thinking about myself picking up this little butane soldering iron, but I'm not going to use that discount. I will pull out my 20% because there's no point in getting 13% off when you got a 20% off, unless you're already using the 20% discount somewhere else. There goes one of the uh, welding magnets that turns off and of course you can see it's a lot more expensive than the cheaper one I recommended above. The Tool Creeper for $14 came highly recommended by a channel called Tools and Trash. Go check out his review. He did it a couple months back I think. One of the few tool channels I still actively watch. Good dude. Hates everybody. Stays out of the drama. Check him out. And that's about going to wrap us up. I'm going to give you a few coupons I think you should have a picture of in your phone at all times of. and. As those go by, I just want to say thank you for coming by. Come back again mid-month, every month. And we're going to get some more reviews out to the channel soon. I got some things working on the back end that's going to free up some time and help me get back to putting actual tool reviews on this channel as well as wood turning videos on my second channel. So until next time, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button down there. 
and we'll holler at you next time. Peace!